The findings of the James Webb Telescope have undermined the case for the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope has just delivered a thrilling discovery. It is sending shockwaves through the global world of physics. Through a single breathtaking photo, it has destroyed lengthy standing debates, leaving scientists greatly surprised. The generation of speculation is over as Webb's latest capture is both visually charming and a game-changer that promises to revolutionize our belief. What fiery debate amongst scientists has this photograph decisively led to? What methods is the lovely picture captured by the James Webb Space Telescope redefining our understanding of the cosmos? Join us as we see why it is getting bad as James Webb's locating ends the talk in physics with a shattering image. The essential difficulty with astrophysics is that scientists cannot come to an agreement about how old the universe is or how rapidly it is expanding. This unanswered phenomenon has puzzled scientists across generations, and they are carrying out numerous research to find answers. Cosmology is the field of research that focuses on understanding how the universe was created, how it is put together, and how it has changed over time, and in the long run, will end. This area has witnessed significant development in the past 100 years. The currently general cosmology model, the Big Bang Theory, suggests that the universe had been expanding from a very hot and dense initial state for about 13.8 billion million years. This expansion is measured through the Hubble constant, which indicates the speed at which the universe is expanding. However, measurements of the Hubble constant are not sincere. Measuring the Hubble constant may be widely classified into two groups, nearby measurements and early universe measurements. Local measurements involve the study of the astronomical bodies of the universe. For example, Cepheid variable stars and type IIA supernova serve as standard candles to measure the Hubble constant. Due to their brightness, astronomers can measure how the universe's expansion affects the speeds of these objects to deduce their distances and thus calculate the Hubble constant. The second group is the measurement of the early universe. Scientists use observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation CMB, the afterglow of the Big Bang discovered in the 1960s. The CMB reflected the microwave radiation of the early universe when it was just 380,000 years old. By measuring the tiny temperature and polarization ripples radiated by the CMB, astronomers can establish the age of the universe and its rate of expansion. But here's the problem, the results of these two methods do not correlate. The result found through nearby measurements confirms that the universe is expanding faster than what we estimate based on CMB data. Due to these differences, scientists have been working hard to discover the cause behind the results. As such, further research is being conducted to learn more about the mysteries of the universe. As things stand, the difference in measurements suggests that there is either new science we don't know about yet or errors in one or both methods. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we can see into the dark cosmos clearer than ever before. The telescope can reveal the faintest and most remote elements, planets, and galaxies. We wouldn't have thought it was possible to see due to its capabilities. Scientists naturally assumed that data from the JWST would help us in precisely calculating the Hubble constant. But the first wave of data has remarkably made matters more complex. They have given us new insights that are not coherent with what we thought we knew. Could this data lead to a new theory and revolutionize how we think about space? If so, we need to review our understanding of how the universe works. For example, we may discover particles and forces that have never been observed before. Or it may represent that dark energy, an unknown element responsible for the accelerating expansion of our universe, needs to be re-examined. To date, the ways we think about space have evolved. As we continue to discover new things, for example, in 1965 when researchers discovered the cosmic microwave background radiation, it served as strong evidence for the idea of the Big Bang Theory. Before then, scientists thought that the universe was eternal, as a result, it was always expanding at a uniform rate. But the new evidence proved that was not the case. Additionally, when we discovered out towards the end of the 1990s that the universe was continuously expanding, we found dark energy and its impact on the universe's growth. Therefore, every time we research something new, we question whether it fits into our current framework. If not, we come up with new ways to understand the universe better. 
To this end, the problem we are facing in cosmology today might lead to the discovery of the most significant solutions to the universe. While the issue is tough, it is also exhilarating because it compels us to expand more technologically advanced tools to explore space. This cosmological quandary also unites the scientific community from different countries, as each scientist wants to know more about the universe. Most importantly, it shows that science is constantly changing and developing as we learn more about space. Along with the Hubble tension, there's also a challenge called the Sot tension that is regarding the spatial distribution of matter in the universe. This can be used to draw a structural picture of the universe and see how it has evolved. The astronomers refer to this phenomenon as lumpiness because there are areas of space that have lots of galaxies closely grouped, while other areas are sparse. The scientists will use different methods to measure this lumpiness, and one way is to study how the light from distant galaxies gets bent by the unique gravity of large objects, such as galaxy clusters. This bend, called gravitational lensing, provides us with a way to examine where dark matter is, given that it is invisible because it does not emit light. Researchers also used the Cosmic Microwave Background CMB, and afterglow from the beginning of the Big Bang. This light has been in motion for about 13.8 billion years, bearing information from the early universe. Through the CMB analysis, physicists are able to decode how the universe became lumpy in its birth, which should match the observational lumpiness of the universe at the present time on a large scale. But here's the catch, these results also don't align. The CMB's lumpiness, provided by the non-round gravity distribution model, implies that the matter distribution at the early stage of the universe was more homogeneous compared to the one found using gravitational lensing. As such, we can guess that there may be something else that we are not considering in the explanation. This brings us back to the idea of dark matter. What specifically is dark matter and how does it function? The reality is the question remains unanswered. However, all hope is not lost as the James Webb Space Telescope JWST is set to redefine the field of astronomy with its remarkable high resolution and camera sensitivity. The telescope will examine early eras of the universe and investigate the first galaxies and stars formed. This makes it possible to improve measurements of cosmic expansion and matter distribution. These critical questions will need specific observation and possibly new techniques from a theoretical angle to figure them out. Regardless of whether the end-finding approach means more meaning to dark energy, discovering entirely new physics, or even gaining a better understanding of dark matter's behavior, the results will be far-reaching. Tackling the mysteries of the universe is like working out a zillion piece puzzle blindfolded. Scientists may be seen as thorough detectives who are focused on and passionate about solving these mysteries. The latest project called Project Flamingo is evidence of NASA's intensifying passion for scientific exploration. Using one of the world's most highly acclaimed supercomputers located at Durham University in Britain, Project Flamingo is a truly remarkable feat in the world of computational development. It costs more than 50 million hours of computer time and features 30,000 processors and counting. The exercise highlights the scientific community's determination to explore the universe in its entirety, majorly focusing on dark matter, the mysterious substance that neither emits, absorbs, nor reflects light. The process of Project Flamingo isn't the same as previous simulations. It involves all possible forms of cosmic elements, from galaxies of the most exotic gas content to stars and black holes at the core of the universe. Through this systematic approach, the gradual shift in the representation of the universe was made from a basic landmass sketch. The motivation behind ambitious endeavors like Project Flamingo is clear, to clarify cosmic structure where measurements seem to be flawed and do not fit into the structure of the universe. This disparity in measurements shows a fundamental misunderstanding in our current comprehension of the universe's workings. If these metrics can be compared to musical genres, they're like jazz and classical, each having its own approach, although still related. Flamingo attempts to unite these diverse views and sharpen our individual perceptions of the cosmos. But despite its sophistication, the cosmic tension persisted. This tension continues to exist as humbling evidence that we have yet to solve much of the mystery that surrounds us. The universe seems unwilling to share its secrets with us just like that. As we add each new data point and simulation model to our toolbox, like Flamingo, an increasingly vast new universe opens up with new challenges to address. 
That is a never-ending quest where each answer leads to more questions, opening up a whole new layer of inquiry. It shows us that the nature of our pursuit to solve the universe's mysteries is complex and ever-changing. Since the moment Edwin Hubble made his groundbreaking discovery of the expanding universe in the early 20th century, the pace of our comprehension has been astoundingly rapid. Scientists are always making distinct discoveries about the size of the world, including the Big Bang Theory, dark matter, and dark energy. They have investigated the galaxy by analyzing the cosmic microwave background CMB, and painstakingly recorded the galaxy's positions and velocities at an ever more refined degree. Each of these milestones is like getting one more key piece of the cosmic puzzle. This has led to us becoming more driven to learn and strive for a deeper understanding of the cosmos. Indeed, the universe is shrouded in mystery, and it might be dangerous to reveal its realities too soon. At each investigative step, scientists added refined theories, edited models, and more defining inquiries. The hypothesis posited by the Big Bang Theory was once very controversial but is now considered a crucial part of scientific knowledge today. Similarly, dark matter is not a hypothetical concept but a full-fledged fundamental feature of the cosmic puzzle. The discovery of dark energy, an unknown force pushing the universe's expansion, was a late 20th century one, and it is now one of the foremost foundational pieces of understanding of the universe. Let us now take a deeper look at the various ways scientists have attempted to solve the enigma of the expansion of the universe over time. They have worked really hard, but some of the pieces just haven't fallen into place. Long ago, it was generally accepted that every object in the sky, from the sun to the stars and all the planets, revolved around the Earth. This geocentric view was challenged by the likes of Copernicus and Galileo, who held that the Earth and other planets moved around the Sun, thereby ushering in a revolutionary worldview. Fast forward to the 20th century when Einstein realized a new revolutionary way of thinking about the physical world. He proposed a model where space and time aren't separate entities but a four-dimensional structure called spacetime, in which they are intertwined. His findings gave the universe a dynamic nature. In 1920, Hubble's observations revealed that galaxies were moving away from each other, indicating that the universe was expanding. With this fact, scientists derived the Big Bang Theory, which proposes that the universe emerged from an infinitesimal singularity and has been growing wider ever since. Initially, the idea that gravity would eventually end the inflationary process was accepted, but astrophysicists discovered something in the 1990s that turned out to be significantly unexpected. Not only is the universe expanding, but its expansion also accelerates. This unexpected result made astronomers come up with a theory of dark energy, a mysterious repulsive force that pushes objects in the universe apart. The Flamingo Project emerged as a crucial player in this arena, providing more than just a regular supercomputer simulation. It represented a highly immersive virtual reality model of the universe, using data from both the Cosmic Microwave Background CMB, and observations of galaxies to construct a detailed representation of the cosmos. The primary goal was to investigate whether, given our current understanding of physics, the early universe could naturally evolve into the complex structure found today. A striking point about Flamingo is that it considers both dark and ordinary matter in the simulated world, unlike previous models which tend to ignore ordinary matter. This fully developed approach can be understood in the same way one gets to know how a car works, considering its frame, engine, seats, and wheels. But when it came to reconciling the clumpiness found in the CMB with that in the nearby universe, Flamingo fell short. Discrepancies continued between the universe's expansion rate and the distribution of matter, leaving astronomers grappling for explanations. Differences persist between the cosmic expansion rate and the distribution of matter, prompting astronomers to seek out alternative models. Some people anticipate that new physics and laws that go beyond our current understanding will have to be created to explain the contradiction. Some are of the opinion that our terms of measurement or understanding of dark energy could be flawed. Saw tension, therefore, is a traditional pattern of mystery, with the universe itself serving as the primary puzzle. To sum it all up, the capabilities of the new telescopes and complex modeling have hardly resolved the enigma. Now, we are at the edge of the cosmic cliff where the unknown is hidden, but an infinite search for understanding is one of the beauties of science. Each question opens another door to the endless quest.
With every trial and simulation, we move towards the understanding of cosmic mysteries. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its advanced capabilities, has provided us with unprecedentedly sharp images and data that add layers of complexity to existing tensions in cosmology. It reveals galaxies that seem more dispersed than what our current theories had expected. Despite diligent efforts, including elaborate simulations like the Flamingo Project designed to incorporate both normal and dark matter effects, there is still a mismatch. Flamingo aims to reconcile our theoretical models with observational data, but the universe has proven to be more resistant than expected. So where do we stand now? Our models of the universe are undergoing profound challenges, potentially signaling a paradigm shift where our theoretical foundations may require a review. These challenges are not setbacks but rather signposts guiding us toward a deeper understanding. Each discovery is added to another, based on which scientists refine their ideas or theories. Every new tension or discrepancy only provides a clue that science and our understanding of the universe need to be corrected. The steps of the cosmos vary like no other, with the details being placed in order by some mysterious force from the nature of physics. Despite the multitude of complexities involved, there is a continuing desire to explore and realize what we have, which keeps us on the path of discovering new mysteries about the universe. Scientific exploration of the cosmos remains an ongoing endeavor, propelled by the advent of advanced telescopes, increasingly sophisticated simulations, and a community of dedicated scientists committed to unraveling its mysteries. The universe is not just a frontier, it is the ultimate puzzle, and piecing it together represents one of humanity's grandest and accelerating challenges. As we embark on this cosmic journey, it is important to stay curious and engaged. With every discovery and insight, we edge closer to comprehending the marvels of the cosmos. The path ahead is sure to be filled with surprises, each offering a glimpse into the profound depths of the universe. Each revelation brings us closer to addressing age-old questions, such as what is the universe and what is our place within it. Looking forward, the opportunities in this cosmic adventure are endless. The data we have amassed may reveal some new celestial events, unveil a deeper understanding of dark matter and energy, or even provide evidence of extraterrestrial life. Additionally, technology will continue to evolve as we explore outer space and delve into cosmological design in depth.